You'd like me do 1999 to make an impression on MTV, for God's oh, sake. Why don't you say so? <laughs> this year's best new filmmaker made a caper picture that takes a fresh, funny look at drugs, treachery, and a pair of antique guns. <clears throat> Dude, you have to brush. Um, take a look for yourself at Guy Ritchie's Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. Blake, come off the nice son. Oh, don't be silly, Dad. I wouldn't have anything to do with that. It's about four guys that get involved in a game of cards, and they end up losing a lot more than they went to the game of cards with. Four young fellas got in deep with the naked handle. I imagine that's why I'm here. We have only got two real guns, so we find a good place to hide, and we jack in the box, look nasty and stuff, nick their van, swap the gear into the new van, and bring it all back here. Everyone savvy? Sweet. Very important from casting point of view that I could cast it with integrity. And I've always thought British gangster films have been a bit woolly and soft around the edges. You've really got to cast people that came from a rough background. Oh, dog. Can we lock up and get drunk now, please? Well, the drinking scene is something that I shot in half an hour. Essentially, I think everyone enjoys a euphoric moment in a film where it just gets a bit silly for a while. If the milk turns out to be sour, I ain't the kind of pussy to drink it. I was always want to make the bad guys much badder than they come across, but I can't help but sneak in a couple of funny lines in there. It's really based on, you know, people that I've met and uh, been inspired by. And they're armed. Armed with what? Uh, bad breath, colourful language, feather duster. Ah! Everyone stop getting shot. There is one more thing. Been emotional. I hope that I can make films that people want to see. The great thing about people going to see your films is that uh, you can always make another one. Ladies and gentlemen, MTV's best new filmmaker, Guy Ritchie. Um, well, I've got to tell you, I'm so scared, my arse is clapping. Um, I was sitting over there half an hour ago and a horse rode by and stood on my foot. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen next, but uh, I was unaware that anyone in America had seen this film until MTV presented me with this. So, um, thank you very much, MTV. It's been emotional.